Okay, so we have a two dollar and twenty five cent nine handed sit and go. Um, pays three spots. So I'm just gonna play through it and go through my thoughts and maybe some some tells for some of these online guys and what you should be doing during what you should be doing sorry during the sync goes okay so king eight suited fold um, I'm just playing a um, heads up at the same time here on another table um, so that's gonna be popping up randomly it's a shootout so it'll be this table and then a final table okay so eight seven off fold so when you're playing the singles, you want to be watching for certain things like um, if they limp in an early position, doesn't mean they have strong hands like aces, kings, queens, whatever, or doesn't mean they're just trying to get the lucky flop. Maybe suited connectors, small pocket pairs. So you want to take notes on the players early, so when you get down to four or five players, you'll be able to outplay them and make it into the top three and cash out. <clears throat> oh, this guy just happened there in that last hand. Let's check that. Um, anyways. Let's get this out of the way for you. There we got pocket fours. Hopefully that's a big raise. Three, uh, four times, possibly a weaker hand. Um, you want to be looking for betting patterns. I'm not going to call this, but um, when they bet higher, it usually means they got probably a marginal hand, maybe a medium pocket pair, suited connectors. Um, they don't want too many people calling, so they want maybe one caller. Um, you just got to watch for stuff like that course so right now the info we have we have a couple um, bits of info on these guys like this guy limped in earlier um, so and he was weak he didn't have anything so he will limp in with weaker hands from early position and with Wolfman here he will also limp call he limp limped in um, I raised him before the flop he called and then folded on the flop so I probably would have put him on um, suited connector or maybe a smaller pocket pair um, suited connector you don't really want to be playing a lot of in early position or sorry um, early in the sit and goes um, in sit and goes you want to be really really tight at the start um, you're trying to survive the sit and go, right? So you wanna you wanna play tight at the start, so you put yourself into a position later in the tournament when you're down to five, four players where you can loosen up a little bit because you'll have the chips and you'll be able to build your stack and put yourself in a position to win the tournament. Ten do suited an obvious fold. <clears throat> so 4.5 times the big line there you want to Take a note of that. Let's find out what he's got. So he probably was pretty strong there. So um, he could have just been playing a bluff because he's betting so large. But when he limps in, being weak, then he's probably being really aggressive. He's probably got a stronger hand. So we're just gonna make a note of that. Three larger bets. We're gonna say possible. Possible strength here because we're not positive. Um, pretty sure though. So 
Where did we have here? I'm not sure after I think. <coughs> so neither of these guys have anything by the looks of it. Which is good. I wanted to see that. What the hell did he limp in with? Okay, so he limped in with six seven off. This guy's an awful player, clearly. So we won't have to worry about taking any notes on this guy. He'll be out of the tournament probably in ninth or eighth. Ten four off. We're going to fold. As you can see, I'm at the final table here for the sit and go. Heads up, sit and go. <clears throat> Alright, so a few tells um, on full tell here. Um, you want to look for people using the check fold, automatic check fold button. Um, people use that as a sign of weakness. Um, it shows that they're not, they're just making the basic plays. They're not going to try anything. So you got to watch for that. Um, you also want to watch for how long um, people are thinking before they make their move. Um, if they're waiting extremely long and then they make a big play a big raise um, it usually means they have a really strong hand I know it'll say the longer they take you know the less sure they are of their hand etc but I find that people wait it till it's almost out and then they'll make a big play if they have a strong hand so you want to watch for that um, the biggest thing is betting patterns you want to be watching for if they're regularly raising three times the big blind and then they four four point five it or two point five the big blind um, you want to watch for that <coughs> excuse me um, you also you want to take note so this guy put two hundred in you just want to take a note of that he could have been trying to take the blinds here because I limped in with ace nine which is I don't suggest doing that but I wanted to anyways. <laughs> um, the biggest thing you're a Jack Nine suited fold. Um, the biggest thing is the betting patterns. So that's what you really want to be looking for. Um, what what it means when they bet less, what it means when they bet more. Um, they bet more, or they're trying to steal the blinds, which is usually what it means. Um, what else? Yeah, so you just want to be looking for that. You want to be paying attention the whole time. Um, also, sometimes the avatars can be a tell. Um, you want to watch for people who are playing with the settings. Good players might do it, throw you off, but see these happy, normal, angry, confused, those sorts of things. What they're stuck in means nothing. Um, but what you want to look for is someone playing around with them. It might mean that they're new to the site. Um, they're not sure of all the, all the sort of little features that it has so they're going to be playing around with that so that it usually suggests a new player um, so you want to watch for that um, you want to watch for you want to watch for what else um, <coughs> sorry um, yeah Anyways, um, this heads up game kind of distracting me here, but 175, pot back. He's probably stealing, but I have nothing to call him with or to raise them. Um, with the players that you know are weaker, you don't want to try any plays. Um, if they're weak, they're new, they're going to be calling with almost any hand. They won't be able to recognize that 